The second area in this coil is completely isolated, so I just want to show you through this bridge rectifier I can run some. I've got a little uh, 5 volt fan, a 5 volt LED bulb. So we'll start this up. I didn't flick it very fast. Really, you need to kind of flick it. So it's having to kind of work itself up. There, the little fan's going. Had to kick start it. And the amp draw is a little less. Uh, we were at 0.6. It'll work itself up that, that high. Just got to spin up. There we go. We're getting 0.57. Now the fan's really going. Now if I remove this, watch the LED, fully bright. So that secondary isn't free power, it's taking some juice. I'll hook it back up. And disconnect it. Yeah, it's drop. Anyway, it's fun. All right, this is my little North Pole motor. It's got six uh, north-facing magnets, and that's the um, trigger power coil and it's also got a isolated secondary. The isolated secondary runs to this little bridge rectifier and it's uh, you know it's pretty much a Bedini motor. Um, right now I have the um, flyback running to that little 9 LED set and I'm going to use these um, pretty old um, dry cells. And we are starting right at 5 volts We'll go ahead and start it up. And to get this started, you just flick it. Needs a harder flick. There we go. So the flyback is running that. Uh, LED bulb. And it looks like it's pulsing on my screen. It's not when I'm just looking at it. You can kind of hear that. So right now I'm running the um, isolated secondary voltage back into the dry cells. So we are at 4.58 volts. Anyway, that's kind of what it does. Alright, still we've got the um, four double A's. And this may not, this may not light up this ID, but we'll give it a try. Nope. All right, to get that LED, um, it's a one and no, it's a three watt bulb. To get that to light, I actually had to remove that uh, secondary, so we're not charging back right now. The voltage is dropping a little bit. 
I'll show you what it'll do on 9 volts. Alright, now we got the 9 volt battery, and I'm just running this uh, isolated secondary back to the voltmeter to show you what kind of flyback we get. Right now there's a little residual millivolts in there. Now the secondary is putting out 101 volts That's through the bridge rectifier. Okay, so now we've got the um, 12 volt hooked up and um, I'll go ahead and hook the amp meter so you can see what kind of draw there is off a of 12 volt. But you know what, first I'll get it started and just show you the, the flyback on the secondary. So it's um, pretty, pretty big. And the neon's starting to kick. The secondary is showing 130, 100, 134. All right, so we'll do. Uh, we've got this set on amps through the 12 volt. About a half an amp. Point six. Now this same bulb on my jewel ringer pulled 1.2 amps, and it shouldn't. It's a three watt bulb, but it did. So in a way, it acts better on this system. It's pulling half the power. Anyway, it's kind of fun.